Suing Walgreens. Days ago now, the Kentucky Attorney General told us another opioid related lawsuit was coming and here it is folks. Nine on your sides. Jake Ryle is live to tell us why this lawsuit hits a little closer to home. Jake. Well, that lawsuit would actually be filed right here in northern Kentucky. And from what we understand, it would be filed in the Boone County Circuit Court. This would mark the sixth lawsuit against opioid distributors, companies, uh, distributing companies the state has filed. Uh, Bashir says Walgreens has had a dual role in the epidemic as a distributor and a pharmacy. Local treatment centers have seen as much as a 20% increase in patients here in northern Kentucky since the beginning of the year. Bashir says the lawsuit is about doing the right thing. That means Walgreens, as a company, knew not only how many opioids were flooding into Kentucky or any community, but even how many opioids were going to a single family. That gave Walgreens real-time data and a front row seat as opioids flooded and devastated our communities. We win this battle. We, we ultimately come out ahead knowing that we have to fight for inches every single day that the worst thing that we can do is nothing. Now, Walgreens has responded to this lawsuit actually just recently over a few hours or so ago, saying we are declining to comment because the matter is the subject of a pending litigation. We'll continue to stay on top of it. Provide updates on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Fort Wright, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.